Hi folks, Mr. Tesalonian here. What you see in front of you is a twin hydrofoil micro hydro hydroelectric generator design that I've been working on. By using hydrofoils instead of pelton wheels or turbines, we can generate energy in much slower water flows than what we typically can use today. Water flows with almost no fall or head to them. Let me go ahead and actuate this real quickly for you so you can see the, the two different hydrofoils. The one in the back has got a bit of a shadow on it, but I'll show you that up close here in a moment. The nice thing about an engine like this is that those hydrofoils are giving power to the flywheel on both the up and the down of each one of their strokes. So there's no real loss by having a dead stroke in the system. And by adding that second hydrofoil in the back in opposite timing, I've really made it so we have a efficient system, something that'll carry its energy through even a really slow water flow. So we give that a little extra energy and let it kind of spin through there. Hopefully from this lower angle you can see both of the foils and how they operate. And you don't need a lot of angle to the foils, you just need to bend the foil past the break point of center and the water pressure should do most of the rest of the action against the foil. So let's take a look at how it's built here real quick. First of all I have a couple nice sized caster wheels, one on either side, some bushings there, Got a rod between the bushings and our caster wheel. We've got a flywheel here, and you can see the weights that I've added to the outside edge of that. Off of each one of the caster wheels, I have a linkage rod that goes down to a drive rod. And you can see that here. They're in opposite timing from each other, so this one's coming off of this side, that one's coming off of the opposite side over there right now. If we come down here, you can see off of the linkage rod, I just go down through a piece of bushing that's inside of there, down to our drive rod. The drive rod goes down through the guide tube here, down to the back side of the hydrofoil there. That's where the hinge actually is on the, against the hydrofoil. Out here in the front, you can see where the linkage right here is mounted off the very front edge of the hydrofoil. If I give you a side view here, you can see the shape of the hydrofoils. Go ahead and give you a view of the back one. So there's both of the hydrofoils. You can see right here I have what are called the stops and then we have the return springs at the end of the stops. You can see those there. Let me go down underneath you can see that there's the same thing that's underneath the hydrofoil there. Just a piece of metal and a spring. What those stops do is this, is when the water, let's say in this case, is going to hit against the bottom side of the hydrofoil, the hydrofoil is going to bend up until it hits those stops. Once it hits those stops, it's going to start applying energy to the drive rod, pushing the drive rod up or down, depending on which way the hydrofoil itself is bent. And the return springs help kind of push the hydrofoil back to a neutral position. They add a little extra energy to the return direction of the hydrofoil that I don't have to apply from our flywheel. The next part here on the hydrofoil is the timing rod. It's mounted right off the front edge of the hydrofoil. It's this rod right here, and I'm just using basically kind of a folded over piece of metal, a couple screws through there, that I can use the screws to pinch that metal down against the rod to stop it on there so it doesn't move anywhere. I'm using those to impact against a solid surface to actuate the hydrofoils in different directions as a timing rod. And I've got one down here at the bottom of the rod and I've got one up here at the top of the rod. Both of those impact on these two points here. If I go ahead and back up a little bit and rotate that, you'll see this. Comes up against there and bends the hydrofoil at different points in timing. One of the next steps of this project is to now add extra foils to each one of the drive rods. It's going to look like a tri-wing aircraft when I'm done on each one of those, which will give us a lot of torque in a very small area. After I'm done building the ladder foil system for this, I then need to start building a fully aluminum frame for the entire system, replace the pillow bushings for normal bushings, and then we're going to build a set of pontoons for this. I figured a hydroelectric generator needs an electric generator hooked up to it, so I built a neodymium permanent magnet generator and I've now installed that to the side of our prototype. I've got a belt I've designed to hook up to that so we could do a quick test with it. I've got the four coils, they're number 16 magnet wire, 200 wraps per coil. I've got the four coils wired up in series. The output to those four coils are hooked up to the two wires to our meter here. We've got the meter set on 20 volt AC voltage. 
Let's go ahead and give this thing a turn so I can show you what it does. We're about eight volts. If I run that through a series of diodes, we can turn that into 12 volt. Let me go ahead and give it a little bit more speed. To be able to get that up to about 18, maybe 19 volts. So there you go, folks. I just wanted to make sure that we had some form of electric generator hooked up to our hydrofoil hydroelectric system. Until next time, I hope you enjoyed. This was Mr. Teslonian.